Should be able to grab that point. And it's not letting me. Four pulls are necessary to create a spline, huh? Interesting. So I think I got that point. Anyway, so there's kind of the hood of our vehicle. And then we can go ahead and do the same thing on the back portion of the vehicle. Just create another sketch on that plane. Uh, first, you'll probably want to do another point so you can grab the point on your, on your car. So if you do another intersection point, you can do the intersection between this plane and that curve, creating a point. And then you'll go ahead and create a sketch on that plane. <laughs> I'll do a reference line here. There we go. Something like that. Oh, I grabbed that point. That's not what I wanted to do. So, somewhere on this shoulder. Let's see if I can get this. Shoulder out, it's just straight out. And strain it so that this and this are parallel. And okay. And then if we do a spline, we can go from here to here to here and then out to that point. Okay. So now that we've got uh, our kind of our cross section there, we want to do one last sketch at the very least. And this will connect the back end of our vehicle. So we'll just go straight out once more, convert it to a reference, create a spline, and have it go out to that endpoint. So that'll com that'll complete it. Now, like I said, you can ha you can have more uh, cross sectional planes as you go, which will give you more control over how your vehicle will look. But for right now, um, it's sufficient enough just to have those four. So we'll go ahead and trim uh, our surface. We'll trim this object. Our bounding object will be that. And it looks like my line needs to be a little bit further down. So I'll come back here into this sketch, grab this and move it down. Let's see if that'll allow me to trim it. To trim, trim sheet. Okay, and if we hit uh, preview, yep, there we go. It, it's always a bit confusing sometimes if you want to keep or discard it. Usually, it's the enclosed object that's going to be kept. So, um, but every once in a while, you can just kind of do a preview, make sure you've got the right one. So we'll go ahead and press OK, and now you'll notice. That, uh, that these lines here should be touching this curve right here that defines the side of this, of this vehicle. If it doesn't, you can go ahead and go into this sketch here and kind of modify your arc a little bit. You know, you can make it uh, constrained more, more uh, as needed. In fact, uh, this point and that point should meet up. So we can actually come back here to our spline and then make sure that this point and that point are, are coincident. So, and then this one, I think I got, I think I got a, the wrong line here. So we want to take this point and that point, if I can grab it. Let's see. Show all constraints. There we go. Okay, that's fine. 
All right, this might, uh, this might work pretty well here. Okay, so once we've got that done, we can go ahead and uh, we can start uh, doing kind of the hood of our vehicle by doing a sweat. So you can use a sweep. Uh, you can grab your, your two uh, curves here. You can grab this one and you can grab the, uh, the top shoulder of your vehicle. And then for the guide curves, you'll grab these cross-section curves that we've created. Again, make sure that your arrows are pointing in the same direction so that way um, you don't have a twist in your curve. And we'll hit OK. And sometimes they'll say the guide curves are not connected to each other. When that happens, um, like in this case right here, this curve right here is actually not connected appropriately. So you'll want to make sure that those things are, excuse me, I need to reset this one. You'll need to make sure that they actually touch. So we want to touch that one right there. There we go. That looks like it's touching. Make sure that this curve and that point We want this and this to touch. And I might need to redraw this one. Let's see here, grab a spline. See, I think I got it. All right, let's try this again. So we'll do a sweep. Grab your first guide, your upper shoulder is your second guide. And then you can use that as your first guide, that is your second guide. Press OK. Still not connected to each other. Sorry? You need the middle plate in between each curve that you Oh, yeah, that's right. Grab the first one, middle click. Second one, come down here. Grab that one, middle click, that one. There we go. Thanks for that. Sorry, I forgot that step. Been uh, teaching Katia too long. <laughs> Okay, so that will create your guide curves. Um, you can do it in different sections. So, I mean, you don't have to sweep it along the entire surface. You can break it down into uh, smaller components. So one way to do that is do the sweep and then sweep it from here to, he oops, wrong one, to here and then have your guides be this one and this one. Oops, let's reset this. So here, middle click, here, left click here, select that one, middle click, that one, and press OK. So you can get different uh, cross sections. So if you do that for all the different cross sections, you should be able to control the surface of your vehicle a lot better than if you just have one giant one. So again, left click, middle click, left click, come down here, left click, middle click, left click there. There's a twist in here, so you want to make sure your guide curves are going the same direction. And you can just double click on that to uh, change the arrow. And then the last section right here, if you do a sweep, you can grab this portion, that one, this one, and that one. And then just change that direction, press OK. So obviously mine's very, very bumpy. Uh, you know, that's probably not the, the, the most accurate drawing there. It's very cartoonish. But uh, so then you can create a bridge curve to connect these two curves together, or these, uh, these two surfaces together. So if you go up to insert and go down to uh, curve from curves, you can insert a bridge curve, which will basically take the two endpoints um, here and here. And then you can create another one over here on this side as well. This one's got a, a much bigger gap. But uh, you go insert curve from curves, bridge curve, grab that one and that one. 
and you can change kind of the direction